<laughs> Slum Village. What's man? Village Manifesto. We lock it down. We, man, we need a we need a real Slum Village. Man, get back if y'all listening. If you, if somebody's listening to this and y'all have a Slum Village spirit, man, we need a Slum Village project. We need all of y'all to come back because hip hop is in a good place with the young with the youngsters. But we really need that soul food we need the meat and potatoes yo this is big burn we've had a great great tuesday first half of the pro football pro football discussions we had uh we talked some aaron Rodgers. he's failing with flying colors at this point should he retire to save his legacy i've already given you multiple aaron Rodgers takes why it was so bad why i thought that he was a disaster before they snapped the ball and had one game. Now, I'm right. I'm justified. So, victory lap taken. Victory lap taken. The Green Bay Packers, they could have a quarterback controversy on their hands. The more Malik Willis starts to play, he starts to get comfortable. This thing, eh, like I said, I'm not jumping out the window yet, but keeping his skill set around 20 to 25 throws, this could be like, uh, yeah, we may have overpaid and jumped the gun. Then we talk some stickler football. Mike Tomlin, he's probably the coach of the decade. He's taken a Russell Wilson that Sean Payton said couldn't win. He's won two games so far, and now the Steelers are at the top of the NFC East. I mean, the AFC North. My, my bad. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Then we talk some Eagles football. The Eagles, they make short work of um, Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bungles. The offense crashed and died and sputtered out after the third quarter. They pretty much didn't do anything but get some exercise and sweat up some uniforms. And now that's going to lead us to Detroit. Shout out to the D. It's just me. It's just me. It's, no. <laughs> pick it, pick it, pick it, pick it, pick it. Slim Shady. Do your thing, baby. In the D, how good are they? Because Detroit, they look heads and shoulders above everybody. They look heads and shoulders above everybody right now in the NFL. And the team that I think is a collision course in the NFC championship game between two teams could be the Eagles and the Lions. And if that's the case, that's blockbuster. That's worth the price of admission. In my eyes, that's worth the price of admission. And so looking at the Detroit Lions, they went ahead and made short work uh, yesterday. Uh, well, Sunday, they made short work of the Tennessee Titans. <laughs> do I have to? Okay. I will do that. <laughs> I will do that when I come back from a quick 20 from an unofficial sponsor of the show. This is Big Bird. Drop the spot. Taco Bell, Live Moss. Order online, download the app, or visit the good folks at your local Taco Bell. Taco Bell, Live Moss. If you have the app, you can try the Big Cheese It. You can try the Cantina Chicken menu, online exclusives, and the Cravings menu as well. If you go into that online exclusive, there's the Veggie Builder own cravings box along with the meal for two and many more. Taco Bell, Live Moss. Yeah, Taco Bell, Live Moss. Order online, download the app, or get... Like I said, visit the good folks at your local Taco Bell. So, <laughs> when you're looking at this game, and, and like I said, do I have to? I knew the Titans were going to be terrible. And I knew Psycho Will Levis. Like I said, I watched him play at Kentucky. It was, nothing about him was special when I heard Todd McScam and weird-ass Mel Kuyper sit here and talk about this guy with some sort of hidden gem. I was like, what the hell is he talking about? You know I have eyes. I can see what this dude is doing. 
his whole psycho regiment where he was over in Italy breaking laws, hopping fences, destroying soccer fields, and then doing some weird thing where he went ahead and went to some weight room and he was slamming weights down and everybody overseas is like, who is this dude? And then he's like, oh, well, they haven't seen an NFL workout. Duh, ding, 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 because their version of football is American soccer. What? So they don't want to know what you have to do to get into the NFL to go ahead and stay NFL ready. They don't care. <sighs> I got that out. Exercise the demons. So <laughs> now that Psycho Will is hurt, you had some of everything go down because David Montgomery, he had a seven yard touchdown run the first quarter for the Lions. Made that thing seven to nothing. Mason Rudolph was running for his life the entire day. I don't know how they talked him into coming back or they have to give him money after every game because that dude was, I'm talking, the look of fear in that dude's eyes every time he snaps the ball is beyond me. That guy ran for 11 yards and went straight in. I'm like, okay, that guy is playing the game of his life. That is seven to seven. And then Jamar Gibbs, he runs off 70 yards because Tennessee can't tackle anybody. <laughs> 14 to seven. And then the second quarter happens. That's when Detroit decided that, hey, look, we're going to go ahead and run the score up and we're going to beat the brakes off Tennessee. And that's what went on. That's what went on. They put up 21 points on Tennessee in the second quarter. 21 points. There was nothing Tennessee could do about any of that. Nothing that they could do about any of that. And I know Mason Rudolph, he throws that five-yard pass to Nick Westbrook, Icon, and now that game was 14 to 14. That's in 14 minutes and 18 seconds. For the rest of the quarter, they did nothing. <laughs> Jared Goff was willing and dealing. He hit Brock Wright for an eight-yard pass. I'm on St. Raw Brown. He gets in this bad boy from Jared Goff for a one-yard pass on a touchdown. And then Sam Laporta, he gets a three-yard pass from David Montgomery. Out of nowhere at halftime, it's 35 to 14. We can go now. This game's over. Oh, there was a third quarter. <laughs> do I have to? I don't want to do this, man. I Oh, God. Oh, my God. Khalif Raymond in the third quarter, 12 minutes and 46 seconds. This dude runs a 90-yard punt return. Detroit beat them every which way you can beat somebody to win a football game. There is nothing that Tennessee did in the second half of that game other than get good exercise and have great seats. This was a bludgeoning. This was a bludgeoning. This wasn't even fair in all retrospects. This was not even fair. They got two interceptions. We got two fumbles. The Tennessee Titans, eight penalties for 60 yards. They allowing sacks. Ooh. What am I supposed to say about this that hasn't already been said? That's why I'm, I'm not doing this. I'm not. Give me a rap album and then we'll close this out. This is Big Burn. -na 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 -na. It's your boy Big Burn promoting a new rap album this month. Tyler the Creator. Chromocopia in stores now. Get it where you legally consume music, whether it be Apple Music, Google Play, or Spotify. A personal favorite on the track is Sticky. Take your mask off. Thought I was dead, and I hope you find your way home. New Tyler the Creator in stores now. Chromocopia. Yeah, shout out to Tyler the Creator. Chromocopia, I think it's dope. Um, looking forward. Because I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to dignify covering that game. No, hell no. Looking forward. The Detroit Lions, they have the uh, Packers. They've got the Packers Sunday. 
uh, in Green Bay and Lambeau. Uh, then they take on the Texans. That's another road game. And then they're home for the Jaguars on November the 17th. And then they get their hands on the Indianapolis Colts. They have to play in Lucas Oil on the 24th. So you're very well looking at three and one, dare I say four and oh. If they go four and oh in that stretch of time, look the hell out because Detroit not only do they control their destiny but they are on a mission to go back to the NFC championship game and at six and one they could very well be ten and one in the next four games even if they're nine and two they would still be atop of the NFC for a lock at that position well that's going to be it for us today I will be back here shortly because we have to cut the NBA stuff. But Detroit fans, get black in the chat. This is Big Vern. Let me know. Are you proud of your Lions? <laughs>